morning, First Christian. I hope you're having a great morning so far. Right now, I'm going to share some things with you to help keep you in the know. But don't forget that program you were given, which also has all kinds of important details about what's happening and how you can get involved. Also, inside your program, you were given a connection card that looks like this. Please fill it out whether you are new or have been coming here longer than the pastor. Then, at the end of service, you can just drop it in the offering bags or later at the connection point. It's almost summer and you know what that means, right? No, not higher electric bills, although that's true. We're talking about summer camp. Around here, we support a great camp called High Hill. They have weeks of camp for just about every age group, from first graders to high schoolers. They also have sports camps, adventurers camps, and wilderness camps. For more information, make sure you drop by the Promised Land Express check-in desk downstairs and grab a brochure. Also, if you're looking for a way to help support High Hill Christian Camps, we are collecting loads of complete pancake mix to help them get through the summer. If you could help, we'd really appreciate it. You can drop off the mix in the church lobby. Did you welcome a new bundle of joy to your family in the last two years? If so, we'd like to celebrate with you and your family at our baby celebration. We'll have a dinner in honor of your new bundle of joy and for your family and guests. Information packets are available at the Promised Land Express sign-in desk. The celebration is scheduled for Sunday, May 20th from 5.30 to 7 p.m. And registration forms must be turned in today, so don't wait. We hope you'll join us. Throughout Paul's journey, we've seen amazing testimonies unfold by those who woke up to Jesus. But it hasn't been easy on the poor guy. In fact, our next look in Acts cranks up the tension another notch with a moment where Paul is caught in a major misunderstanding. The result moves us closer to a climax that ends with Paul in chains at the center of the Roman Empire. Now let's hand it over to Pastor David. Thanks for joining us today.